Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The last 30 minutes, Red Beckman has been on with us. He'll be with us halfway into the next hour. We just started simulcasting at PrisonPlanet.tv and Living Video Color. If you're a PrisonPlanet.tv member, thank you so much for joining us. By the way, we're going to be adding a lot of new features in the next few weeks. I'm just going to leave it at that, at PrisonPlanet.tv. Uh, so certainly I look forward to that for all the great members over there. And, of course, everybody can listen for free on your local AM and FM, shortwave, satellite, or the free podcast at InfoWars.com. Over 200,000 people a day downloading the free podcast. Listen how you want, where you want, when you want. Archive the show. That's all at InfoWars.com on the radio listen page. Just pull the pull down there, click on podcast, uh, flycast, a lot of different ways to listen on your cell phone. Infowars.com. And don't forget, we fund our operation through you, the listener. You support us. When you buy a book, a t shirt, that funds this 8,000 square foot office, the documentaries, the books, the live radio show, my crew. We are in the midst of finishing up our big TV studio next door uh, and, and launching a whole bunch of new operations. I'm not risking my life. I'm not fighting 14, 15, some days 18 hours a day, some days 24 hours a day against the globalists because I think I'm going to lose. These people are dangerous killers. They run the planet. They do whatever they want. But history shows tyrants always reach too far. I wouldn't be fighting them and risking my life if I didn't know they could be beaten. I know they can be beaten. I know they will be beaten. And if you listen to my show 10 years ago, it was a lot more negative than it is now. I said, if we don't wake people up, if we don't educate people about the true architecture of world government, if we don't educate them as the control banking collapse comes, we have the IMF and World Bank documents. We know what they've done in every other country. We know what they've done in England in, 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 in 1815 with the Rothschilds. If we don't do this and if we don't educate the military and police that they're expendable and being used and brainwashed, then these people are going to win. But... I started waging war 16 years ago against the tyranny, 14 years ago on air, Red Beckman back in the early 1950s, and it takes time. And, and that's the number one message. Now, going back to Red Beckman and then your phone calls and a lot of other issues, Red, I was asking you the question of the enemy's counter operations. I mean, I am shocked by how out in the open they are now. I guess that's hubris or, 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 or false arrogance or a face they're putting on because their internal documents from Cass Sunstein, the Congress, the UN, stuff they don't widely publicize but that is publicly available, they say they're in deep danger. They are freaking out saying we've got to go with shutting down web, arresting people that criticize government. We've got to go to a hot tyranny, not a cold incremental tyranny, which is good because the cold incremental tyranny is hard to beat. Uh, because it sneaks around, uh, like Cicero said, inside your gates. I, I, I like it that they're coming right out in the open. Uh, and, and, and so why do you think they're openly announcing world government? Why do you think they're openly shifting from denying all this to admitting it, but putting their spin on it? And how do you see them counter-striking? Well, you know, I, I think that so much of this is... Um uh, the spin masters, of course, uh, they're just paid. These are people that are paid to come up with all this stuff. I think that they're in a state of terror. Uh, they're, they're looking for a place to hide. Uh, they're, uh, uh, you know, everything is going backwards for them. They're not getting the, the job done. They're not getting the guns. They're not going to get the guns. Uh, I mean, they might get what comes out the end of the barrel uh, of the gun, but they're not going to get the gun itself. And uh, I think that, um, you know, 911, they were able to, uh, you know, fool the American people initially in, into thinking it was uh, uh, those uh, foreigners, those uh, aliens, that had pulled this off, uh, taking control of those planes and flying into the World Trade Center. How many Americans today are there that, that, that still believe that? Very, very, very few. And what we have is we've got hundreds of people all over this nation that are trying to put the pieces together. They're collecting the evidence. And... Uh, 
I would dare say that there's some people out there that pull that off. Uh, they're right here in this country. Uh, they've got an escape hatch. They'll fly to uh, some other country or something when it gets too hot, but they're still here. But I would dare say they kind of rub their necks once in a while, and and, uh, and I wonder if they kind of feel that rope settling around their neck. Because um, if they if they take another, do another uh, dirty trick like they did 911, I'll tell you, there's going to be some people that are going to get rounded up and uh, they're going to be prosecuted for treason and the whole works, and and uh, they're going to end up hanging from uh, from a gallows someplace because <clears throat> the American people are not going to sit still for any more of their false flags. It's not going to happen. And I think that what we've got going on in, in Iraq and Afghanistan right now, I think that the military, uh, they're... Um, they're doing some thinking on their own. They're not depending on uh, Obama to give them a sense of direction. I think they are getting along with the Iraqi uh, people like they have never done. They're getting along with the Afghans. If you're if you're reading between the lines and and uh, even not <clears throat> always between the lines, uh, we're getting a different picture coming from both Afghanistan and Iraq because I think our military. I think the, we've got some people in there that have enough smarts to recognize that we cannot finance all these wars out there such as we've been doing. Uh, well, the attempt is to bankrupt the nation. It's to bankrupt yeah. the states right. to the bankers yeah. who made all this money out of fiat thin air and want to bankrupt us just like a local bank wants to bankrupt the farmer. They want the land. Sure. And uh, But uh, I'll tell you... Um, uh, it's coming to an end and coming very, very rapidly, uh, much faster than I would have ever uh, thought that it could happen, uh, because I see it happening. Uh, well, the last time I was on your show, several months ago, uh, you know, uh, you, you put my address on there, and we said anybody that sends a $5 bill, we'll send them a copy of that little book, Walls in Our Minds. We sent out hundreds of them. We had never, I've done hundreds of talk shows, and I have never, never had the response that we had from that show. Uh, we were on, I was on for at least an hour, I think, but uh, we got a tremendous response. Well, Which is another indicator of how large the sh radio show's gotten, but how active the people are and how hungry they are for information. Uh, read so much... Uh, so much other stuff is going on and uh, happening. But you look at how they do create walls in our minds. They paint false pictures. Obama is expanding all these wars, increasing the military budget, while cutting the pay to the troops. Uh, last year, he tried to make troops buy their own insurance. I even had the head of... <laughs> I even had the head of the American Legion on speaking out against it. Uh, but then they spin it and say, the troops are angry. They say Obama isn't waging enough wars. They say Obama isn't giving them the surge they need, which is total false reality. The troops know we're going bankrupt. They know it's a fraud. They know it's a lie. They don't want to be there. But the media creates this fake spin that Obama's a liberal against the war when he's actually expanding it. Yes. It's just a, what do you call an entire envelopment of lies where just everything is a lie, wrapped in a lie, stacked in a lie, packaged in another lie? Uh, it, it just isn't working anymore. Everything they do, the people see right through it. Take the hoax of Obama. People yeah. have woken up to him faster than any other puppet. Yeah, well, I, you know, uh, 911, how many people are, you know, you know investigating? All the little things uh, that happened with 911, and they're getting a picture uh, of what happened, and it has to be making some people uh, very, very nervous. And of course, the same goes for Oklahoma City. Uh, we know that was an inside job, and uh, there's people. After all these years, people are still putting the pieces together, and uh, so. Uh, I, I think that uh, there is a possibility of another false flag uh, operation.
but uh, I, I got to assure you of one thing, that if there's a false flag operation, they're not going to be able to call it anything else right from the beginning because the American people now have their eyes wide open. That's and right. Their We've ears taken are open, and uh, uh, you know, we... I used to say that uh, people just didn't listen to what we were saying back there 20, 30 years ago. But I said when we have an economic uh, uh, holocaust hit us in this country, their hearing will get better, and <laughs> and that's that's what's happened. People are listening to what Alex Jones is saying. They're listening to what Red Beckman uh, has said and. And they're reading the books. 